Impossible! How could he? That power is completely wasted on someone like you. You can barely even defeat a pathetic little Zoonoid. Oh, no, not another one. I'm Lisker, an inspector from Kronos. However, I'm also... Adapt! <sighs> Great. A Giver like you. No, it can't be. What the? There's a second Giver suit? Don't look so surprised, Sho. The Giver unit that you control is actually just one of three. Three? The units organically fuse with sentient beings, resulting in a dramatic increase in biological functionality. This life form has been fitted with a control metal that keeps its power amplification in check and prevents it from losing control. The result is a bio-boosting armor system that can be engaged and disengaged at will. That is the power of the Giver. I don't understand. Hm. Seems that biology isn't your best subject. What do you people want? You'll find out soon enough, or right away if you come with me. I'll warn you that resistance is futile. You can't defeat me at your level. Now just come along quietly and we'll return to Kronos headquarters together. Listen, he's just trying to intimidate you. You're just as strong as he is. Don't give up without a fight, show. Ah, that's right. I still need to take care of you. Uh, show! I won't let you push us around anymore! Then I won't go easy on you. Now, let the lesson begin. Come and get me! Show! This powerful infrared laser utilizes excess body heat. We call it the head beam. Blades vibrate at an ultra high frequency, allowing them to cut through almost anything. It appears that you're not accustomed to using them yet. Damn it. You failed the lesson. I don't know which one fired. If the two units are essentially the same, any variation in power would be due to differences between the hosts. If that guy's gone through serious combat training, this could be bad. Show, please be all right. Hmm. Oh no! That was the Mega Smasher, the Giver's most powerful weapon. Its one drawback is that there's a slight delay before it can fire. You understand now, don't you? If you want to be the heavyweight champion, you don't just put on the gloves and expect to win. So there you have it. If possible, we'd like to bring you back alive. After all, you're a valuable test subject. I, I won't let you push me around! You still don't get it, do you? If you insist on resisting me, what just happened? Come on, let's go. This might be our only chance, show. We got to get out of here. What was that? He escaped. What? just happened to me. Brainwaves are nominal. 
I didn't detect any abnormalities in your DNA, and your immune functions are also in good shape. That's good. I don't have any data to support this, but if I had to guess, I'd say this was a temporary reaction from your immune system. It probably hasn't fully adapted to your internal bio-boosting system yet. I see. Well, I figured it wasn't anything too serious. Oh, really? You're working late, too? Yeah. Actually, Tetsuro needed my help with something. He's editing the Sci-Fi Club's newsletter, and it's coming down to the wire. He wants me to help him get some materials together. Yeah. Yeah. See you later, Dad. I don't like having to lie like that. I think it's best for us to stay together as much as possible right now. I mean, now that those Kronos guys know that you're the Giver, splitting up could be pretty dangerous for both of us, you know? What's wrong? Well, it's just, what do you think about that other Giver out there? Oh, yeah. Well, he did say there were three units all together, didn't he? So that means there's got to be another Giver out there somewhere, doesn't it? Not that. Huh? What do you think was wrong with the one we met? What? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. That was weird. He was really freaking out, wasn't he? I say you shouldn't dwell on it too much, okay? Come on, let's chow down. Wow, looks great. Thanks for the grub, sis. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Mizuki, you're an awesome cook. Thank you. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I'm gonna eat in my room. You two have fun by yourselves, okay? Huh? Hey, but why don't you want to eat together here with us? Back when we were kids, we used to take baths together and sleep together and everything. <laughs> <coughs> Sicko. That did sound kind of dirty, Tetsuro. Uh, really? <coughs> hey, uh... I was kind of worried that my being here might put Mizuki in danger too, you know? What are you talking about? It's exactly the opposite, show. If Mizuki was in trouble, you're the only one who could save her. I... I guess so. Huh? Huh? Mizuki! Mizuki! <laughs> Ow. Mizuki? That hurt. Uh, you okay? Uh, get out of here! Uh, right. And shut the door! Right! Expecting you, sir. Welcome. But, but, sir, the, the Japanese branch is doing everything in its power to recover the units as quickly as possible. Indeed. And I've come here to help solve that problem personally. As of today, I, Commander-in-Chief Richard Gyo, am assuming complete control. But, sir, we, we have a large number of Zornoids who are ready to be dispatched. T -t Take a look at these. You needn't remind me, Makishima. I am well aware of the advancements that the Japanese branch has made in Zornoid development. However, Zerba Booth. Yes, sir. <laughs> His physical strength is three times that of Gregor. 
and his laser cannon is eight times more powerful than Vamor's. His powers are far greater than those of any Zoonoid developed thus far. Uh, a hyperzoonoid? It can't be! Now do you understand? All the achievements of the Japanese branch have been for naught. How could this happen? I will decide your fate later. This way, please. So, Inspector Liska, how does it feel to command the power of Kronos' top secret Gaiva unit? <clears throat> Liska, I'm surprised you'd do something so careless. You know each other? Yes, sir. He and I went through combat training together. Oh. Zerba Booth, I need you to take care of something immediately. Sir, whatever you wish. Coming to school like this makes me feel like nothing's really changed. Yeah, so nothing else happened after the fight yesterday, huh? Nope. Don't worry. We should be all right as long as we're out in public. I doubt they'd pull anything crazy with so many people around. Hmm. I hope that you're right. Anyway, I don't want to be late. Show, you're coming too. Huh? To what? To the Sci-Fi Club's monthly movie showing, of course. They're even letting us have it in the A.V. room today. Huh? At a time like this? I'm doing it because it's a time like this. We need a good sci-fi movie now more than ever. data Inspector Lisker obtained during his encounter with the other Giver unit. Not to be presumptuous, Commander, but... Speak. Shouldn't Zerba Booth have been shown this data before being dispatched on his mission? That wasn't necessary. Nothing. Headphones, huh? Did you see the news last night? Yeah, I sure did. Uh... Hey, what's that? I guess Natsuki and the others aren't coming, huh? Come on. This has got to be one of the greatest sci-fi movies ever made. Doesn't this club mean anything to those ungrateful jerks? <laughs> hey, everyone. We're here to return the key to the AV room. Uh... Hello? Why isn't anyone here? They couldn't have been abducted or anything. Where the heck did everyone disappear to? Hold on. Let's see. No good. Mizuki isn't picking up her phone either. Can't be. Target sighted. He was in the school after all, boss. So <laughs> uh, annoyance? Damn it! <laughs> Driver! High school? Watch out! What is that? I'm so annoyed. That one looks different. So that's a hyperzoanoid. 
Let's see what it can do. I don't know how you withstood the hypnotic sound waves, but you were foolish to reveal yourself. Let's go, Guyver! My punch has no effect! Zebra Booth, you found the Guyver, haven't you? Sir? Go, Sababoth. Show him the power of the hyperzoanoids. Take this! It had no effect! You can't even scratch me with a pathetic little beam like that! Then how about this? Tougher than the other zoonoids we've seen. Damn it. You mega smasher, huh? Sure you wanna fire that thing here? Amateur. Hesitation is a sign of weakness. My punches or head beam. I have to find some way to pierce his defenses. Your feeble powers have no effect on me. A new power. What? Some kind of black hole or something. <sighs> you little punk! It's over, Zerbabooth. <laughs> Excellency! That was a gravity control attack just now. It seems you've underestimated this Giver. I beg your forgiveness, sir. Return to headquarters at once. I can't afford to lose you now. Sir! First innocent victim. Perhaps the Giver has even greater powers than we had anticipated. It seems that the units may have a number of abilities yet to be discovered. Mizuki! Mizuki! Oh, welcome home. Why are you so late? Mizuki? But when did you get back from school? Well, I must have been pretty out of it today. It's like I came home without even knowing it. Weird, huh? Mizuki! Oh. Thank God! I was so worried! 
Why are you jumping all over me all of a sudden? Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Huh? Not even our school is safe anymore. A man's spirit is crushed. Another's feelings go unnoticed. A mysterious shadow looms over them both and laughs silently to himself. A sound reverberates, another vanishes. Sho and Tetsuro are thrown into a twisted reality devoid of sound. When two powerful forces clash, the last of the Givers appears. What lies hidden within that dark shell? Next, the third shadow.